guys, it's Game Ramer here. So today we're going to talk about a recent purchase from Castlemania Games, and this is actually the collector's edition and limited edition version of Metal Storm, and it's published by Retrobit. So let's go ahead and check it out. So this version of the game actually comes with quite a bit. So today we're going to open up this package and see exactly everything that's included in this limited edition collector's edition version of Metal Storm. And this is for the NES. And if you know anything about the game, you'll know that this cartridge goes for over $100 on eBay. And that is both the North American version and the Japanese version of this game. Now what this company did is actually use the Japanese version of the game and translate it into the English version because that one is so much better. It has brighter colors. It's a little bit more difficult and it's just so much better to play. So this is actually very exciting. And because I don't own that copy of the game just yet, it's been a while since I've actually played it and I haven't actually beat the entire game. So when I saw this version of the game, they do have a standard edition and then this limited edition collector's edition. I quickly snagged a copy of it because it was so cheap. It was less than half the price of the Japanese version and it comes with all of these bonus items. So we'll just go ahead and open up this and see everything that's included. So just looking at the box art of this game. This is pretty heavy and it actually has a lot in here. It says Metal Storm Collector's Edition. Of course it has this character all across this front and it says cartridge not working on your PAL NES. Press reset twice while the power is on. And then if you flip it around we have this art as well. It says Retro Bit. And then on the back here, it tells you everything that's included. So it says, Retrobit Publishing has created rare games in a physical media and brought them to where they were never released, giving gamers and collectors across the globe the opportunity to own one-of-a-kind and limited edition exclusives that include many extra collectible items. For the first time ever, the Japanese version of the classic NES game Metal Storm has been translated to English, along with the white mech cinematic introduction to the plot, and higher difficulty level options. Ranked in the top 50 of IGN's top 100 NES game list, Metal Storm made its mark for pushing the NES to its technical and graphical limits with gravity reversing mechanics and multi-layered backgrounds, dubbed as a challenging yet entertaining game. It has been considered as one of the best NES games ever made. So to commemorate this release, this Metal Storm Collector's Edition includes, and it has a list of everything. So we'll just open it up and see. So of course we have the slip cover, and then we actually have this Collector's Edition box. Now this box looks great. It has all of this metallic color all over it. It's outlined in all of this silver. And of course this main character kind of has this shiny embossed look to it in some of these areas. It says Metal Storm Collector's Edition. And this thing just looks great. So if we open it up, we have all of these pretty little neat items included in here. So first up we have this limited edition pin. So this actually looks really cool. It's a pretty decent size for this Metal Storm pin. It just has one little pin backing on the back there and this thing is pretty sweet looking as it really ties in all of these colors shown thus far so this looks really cool and then we have this box so this is the metal storm m308 gunner character so this one is really cool this is an actual figurine of this character it says m308 gunner premiered in 1991 on the NES Metal Storm, which became recognized as one of the most intricate games on the console. M308 Gunner manipulates gravity with his ability to switch to the ceiling and battle his mechanical enemies from above. 
equipped with sophisticated weaponry and immortality, he is to protect mankind from all threats and now joins the Metal Storm Collector's Edition in his full figure, especially created for game collectors and fans of this rare classic. So let's open this up and see how cool he looks. So anytime that there is a figure or collector's edition item that's released, I definitely have to snag it as this is so cool to have in the collection and especially for a great title. So this is kind of light, well the base is, so the weight is more so in this character. Now this looks pretty sweet because on the base it says M308, looks like it's all hand painted and it says Metal Storm course it continues that shiny silver color on this base it says retro bit at the bottom so this is really neat and this character looks pretty awesome we actually have this envelope so this says it actually has retro bit on the front has this character it says metal storm collector's edition on the back So it looks like there are some cards in here. So of course it has this gold color on the back, this embossed look. And we have this postcard sized display of Metal Storm with this main character. And then of course we have this as well. which one looks to be the North American version and one looks to be the Japanese. And this one's especially cool because it has all of these little stars in the background that have this gold effect. So this one looks really awesome because it looks like it's in space. And then we have this certificate of authenticity. So each of these collector's editions that were released actually came with this certificate of authenticity. So this says Metal Storm, and once again it has this embossed style with this shiny gold color with the logo underneath. And it says Collector's Edition, and this is number 85 out of 3000. So it says Limited Production, and this is the Galactic Blue Cartridge. So this is pretty sweet that it even comes with this Certificate of Authenticity just to verify this limited edition version even more. This package of the game, so of course it looks like your cartridge version style of an NES game comes with this box and this box looks pretty awesome. Once again it really uses those colors on the front here. It has this silver and this actually feels like it's raised up a bit so this definitely is embossed and this Metal Storm logo right here just has a lot of detail on this, a lot of different colors. And then on the back, it has some more information. It says the year 3521 brings with it a grave danger to the solar system. Take on the role of M308 Gunner, who was sent to Pluto to save Earth from a malfunctioning laser gun created to protect all humankind. Defy gravity and storm, across space defeating enemies and boss machines while equipped with special weaponry. Get past the big boss and help humanity keep peace in the universe. Then of course it has some images from the gameplay. So this is pretty sweet. So we'll just open the seal right up. First up we have this poster that's included. And this has this gloss effect to the poster. So it's not this flat style coloring. So on one side we have this image of Metal Storm and the character. And then on this side we have this other image of the game. So this one is actually pretty sweet as it has all of these different colors in it. So this looks pretty cool. And then also included, we have this instruction manual, which over the years we've seemed to lose touch with a lot of these instruction manuals. 
So this is great that it actually comes with the game, as this is definitely true to an NES style game. So this says, game instruction manual. And it looks like it has both the Japanese and English version in here. So it looks like this back half actually has the instruction manual in Japanese. And then this front part of the manual has the English version. So it says story, controls, gameplay, continues, slash password, items, ledges and barriers, special techniques and stages. So it has all of these different helpful tips in here as well. Some controls and the different stages. So that is definitely pretty sweet. So as I'm playing this very difficult game, I'll probably be looking at this instruction manual for some help while playing. And then of course we have this copy of the game. So it comes with this little protective sleeve. And then we have this beautiful blue color cartridge. So this really looks great. And this is one of the limited edition versions of the game. So I really like that since this is a re-release of the game, it's not that original style color. And I really like that for a lot of these special editions and repro carts, they use this color to try and help with keeping it different from the original release so that it doesn't confuse a lot of people. So here we have this image of the game, Metal Storm on here. And then of course on the back, they just put their sticker and it says published by Retrobit. So this is a really cool cartridge and I'm really excited to actually see this gameplay as I've heard some really great things about this version of the game and I can't wait to try it out and see how much more difficult it is than the regular North American version that I have played in the past and hopefully this time I'm able to actually beat the game with of course some practice. So I actually ordered this collector's edition version of the game from CastlemaniaGames.com. So I'll go ahead and drop a link below so that you can check out their webpage and see if there's anything else that you would like to order as they have so many great items on their page. And this is not the first time that I've ordered something from them. And I'm just so excited. So this is actually published by Retrobit and I highly recommend their products. This alone, the quality, the amount of everything, and the price point was just amazing for all of these items. So if you're looking for an original copy of the game and the North American version, you're going to spend over $100 and the same with the Japanese version on the Famicom. So this is a great game option to go ahead and do. So it came with all of these items in here. It has all of these boxes. It even has this certificate of authenticity. It has a collector's edition individually numbered on here for this limited edition production. It comes with this figure of this character and it's not very often that you would even see that. So this is just great and an extra item that definitely makes this collector's edition. Came with this pretty awesome pin and it's not your standard small sized pretty crappy quality pin. This is a great large pin and it really looks great. The colors on it are amazing. The same with these postcards, this poster here, which is double-sided, and then the instruction manual, which you don't see very often in games anymore. So this is just really cool. And I really like how they took the Japanese version of the game and translated it to English, as that would be the better option to play anyway, because of the brighter colors, the more challenging aspects on this game, and just, I'm so excited to see how all of this actually plays. I can't believe I got this for less than $70, which is a fraction of the price that just the game would even come with. So adding all of these extra items is just so great. This is a highly rated game, so much fun, very challenging. And this game really took it to the next level on the NES with everything that it does. So I just can't wait to dive into this game and actually play it and see how far I get this time. So of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.